In the previous video on hosting, I explained that you need to upload your website to the internet so that it sits on a computer that's constantly on that people can access everywhere. If we look at the website we created, it exists only on our desktop on our own computer and only we can access it by clicking on um, the folder and then going to one of these pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload the site to our hosting account that we purchased. So to do this, we open up our little file that tells us how to log in. And here it says IP. Now it's just listed the IP address. So to make it an internet address, I gotta type in HTTP colon slash slash before I cut and paste it. So now I'm going to cut and paste, cut this IP address because it hasn't yet been 48 hours or even six hours to propagate and go all around the internet and know so that I type in www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com. Um, you know what, I'll show you right now. We might get lucky. Let me copy this. And let's go to pizzadeliverysecrets.com. So make sure we have the www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com. And let's see if it propagated through the internet yet. Okay, so now it's showing up. Here's our little, we haven't put an index file in the website yet. We haven't set it up yet. That's why we're seeing this blank thing. So right now it's only been 30 minutes since I changed the DNS and already for, for where I'm at in Hawaii, it's going right to the website. So at www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com goes to uh, our hosting account, but if we typed in www.pizzadeliverysecrets.com and it said, you know, parked at GoDaddy, that means that it didn't propagate yet. So if I highlight this IP address, right click and hit copy, now I can go and paste it into a browser. And if I select go, it's going to take us. There is no website configured at this address. It's taken us to the hosting account. And since I haven't added any pages yet, it's showing there's no website here. Now when we went to Pizza Delivery Secrets, it was showing us a different structure. So once we load it with web pages, we're going to be able to go to pizzadeliverysecrets.com and we're going to see the web, web pages. But you can also use the IP address to go to the website. And at the end of the video, I'll show you that we can type in the IP address and it'll take us to pizzadeliverysecrets.com. So this IP address is the real address of pizzadeliverysecrets.com. So if I had to log into the cPanel, I could log into the cPanel here as well. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do that at pizzadeliverysecrets.com. Let me go back to that rather. So to get in, we can either log in by using the IP address or we can just go to pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash cPanel. And when I do that, it's going to prompt me to enter my username and password so I can log in. I'm going to do this and it's going to be blocked. So in a second, I'm going to enter my username and password and then it's going to log me in. So I'll be back in one second and after I complete the login with my username and password, remember right here it was provided even though I've exited out. After I log in, I'll see you on the inside of the cPanel. Okay, so now we're inside of the cPanel and this is what it looks like. So keep in mind, we want to upload this website to our cPanel. So how we do that is we go to the file manager, double click on file manager and this box pops up. Now you there's some other folders here but for now you just want to upload it to the public HTML folder so I'm going to click on that folder and it gives me all this stuff. You may or may not see these exact folders it depends on the hosting account that you see. Now we want to upload our website so when we look at the website here's the my website folder. We double click on that all these files in here need to go into the public HTML folder of our hosting account. Now these folders, since they're inside of the My Website folder, I gotta create subfolders. I'm gonna show you how to do that. 
So we need an images folder and a more pages folder. So first I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new folder. Now this is inside of the my HTML folder. So you can see, not my HTML, public HTML rather. So you can see that this is the public HTML folder. We want to create a new folder inside of this folder. And the first one we needed was images. So we create that. And now you'll notice the images folder appears here. We also want to create the other folder. And just to get the name of it, it was more pages. So I need to go back in and create one called more pages. And I'm going to create that. And you'll see that it appears right here. So now I can go into the images folder here. I, click, I have to click on this little icon. Now I want to upload the same files that are in see this images folder here um, by going this is the one on my desktop let's look inside the images folder and we'll see that there's these three images so in our cPanel we have to upload inside the public HTML folder which is just like the my website folder inside the images folder which is where we're at now we need to upload those files so we go to upload files and we hit browse pick the my website folder images folder and the Brian 2 image. Then we want to also browse and select the headline image and browse and select the killer image. Now you'll see that there's three images and we can upload them and they're all going to go into the images folder because right here you can see the last files images. So we select upload and now we will see that those files are now in our images folder online. So the subfolder, this public HTML, it's a little bit confusing because our analogy was the my website folder which sits on our desktop. So this public HTML folder, any files in there is the same as the files inside the my website folder. So we have the images folder inside the my website folder, just like the images folder online is inside the public HTML folder. And we'll see that in the images folder, We've got these three files, Brian2 Headline Killer, and here we've got Brian2 Headline Killer. So that's complete. Now we want to go up one level so that we're just back in the public HTML folder. You can see the images folder in here. Now let's go into the More Pages folder by clicking on this icon. And now we have to upload the files that are in the More Pages folder. So we browse, and we have to not images, we're already done doing the images folder. So we go back to my website and let's go into the more pages folder and we've just got the extra page in there. So we upload that. And here's another thing, overwrite existing files. If you're uploading the same file that's already in there to do an update, you need to check this so that it overwrites the file that's already in there. So it's a good habit just to get into doing overwrite existing files. So we want to upload.